You're watching the CFA News Weekly video brought to you by the spring issue of Erner Berry's Reporter. Volume 16, number two, is our second issue 2021 and features a special section on the state of the seafood industry, an annual review compiled by Erner Berry's seafood market reporters. The annual review includes 17 pages packed with insight, charts, and other data from the UB team. Secure your free copy today by visiting ernerberry.com slash reporter. I'm CFA News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm seafood market reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story of the week, Maine harvesters earned their ninth highest value on record despite market challenges in 2020. Although the coronavirus pandemic brought market losses, Maine fishermen earned over $500 million for their catch last year. The lobster fishery in Maine accounted for most of the state's overall landed value at nearly $406 million. This is only the seventh time in history of the fishery that landed value exceeded the $400 million mark. In other news, Bob Blaise has been named the new CEO of East Coast Seafood Group. Blaise's appointment is part of a planned 2021 transition and the next step in the company's strategic evolution for long-term growth. Prior to being named CEO, Blaise worked for affiliate company Sea trade since 1998. As a certified public accountant, Blaise worked closely with the company's founders over the years and was promoted to Sea trades chief financial officer and treasurer before the company was sold to East Coast Seafood in 2012. Since then, Blaze has helped streamlining operations as East Coast Seafood Group COO. Now as CEO, he'll be helping the company expand its global presence in high-end shellfish, retail products, and underutilized fish species. He replaces current CEO, Brad Hudson. Meanwhile, Peter Pan Seafood announced they've hired industry veteran Kevin Larson to serve as the company's Vice President of International Sales and Business Development. Larson has a deep background in seafood. His dad was a fisherman in Southeast Alaska and Larson followed in his footsteps fishing in Southeast Alaska for eight seasons before joining the sales side of the industry. Prior to joining Peter Pan, he worked at Hawk Inlet Fish Company, Pacific Fish and Seafoods and Icicle Seafoods. He most recently served as the Vice President of Sales and Business Development at Bornstein Seafoods. And finally, king crab pricing is currently at all time highs and many importers and buyers see no end in sight. Erna Berry Market Reporter Janice Schreiber reports that even with higher imports the past two months in comparison to previous years, the market is still tight and demand is robust and falling well short of buyers' full needs. Looking specifically at 9 to 12 Russian Reds, current pricing is 42.5% higher than the three-year average and 33.2% higher than the same time last year. The undertone of the market at present is full state affirming with some still higher offers and sales noted many significantly higher. Thanks, Amanda. Now subscribe to our channel below and head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching and you be well. Uh